All right, so this is how to add um, domain inside system. Very, very simple. You go to your settings, custom domains, add domain. Now right here, you need a domain name. So I bought in Namecheap, we have this uh, domain right there. And now I'm just gonna copy it and paste it there. Watch out for this space, okay? And now let's go ahead and save this. So here you can see that we do need www. So make sure that you make that happen as well. And now we save. The next step is actually going through the, um, the process of adding C names and stuff like that. So let's make sure that now with these DNS configuration settings, we make sure that we have this, the C name and that one, all right? So let's go ahead and do exactly that. If you want to go ahead and read an article instead, you can click here and you're gonna be redirected to this thing. So essentially you can skip all this stuff and now you go here and you have the information, okay? So make it easier for you. So right here we have the host, which is www. We have the CNAME, which is this one. And then we have the value, okay? This is exactly what we need to do. If you have any questions here as well, you have the name host here and the target the value right there. So let's go back here and make sure that we go ahead and copy this value. And now uh, we go to advanced DNS and we're gonna add a C name, okay? So here, new record, we're gonna go ahead and add C name, www, target, and then hit. There you go. Let's go to the next one, which is gonna be this until just the dot. And now we're gonna copy, paste it, add C name record as well. Paste it as a host, go back, copy all this thing, and now the edit right there and say correct. Okay, so now, we have the domain integrated. Let's go ahead and double check here. So basically you go ahead and you copy all the way up to the dot and then you copy the entire thing here as well. Okay, so very, very simple. Let's go back to our domain. And now here we have the domain installed. The pending validation is right there and you cannot really, you know, uh, add like other softwares that you can do like validate or something like that. Um, you know, as you can see, there's no validation. So now we just need to um, wait for the pending validation to be validated. And there you go, after a few minutes, ready to use, and that's pretty much about it.